the first meeting was kind of unusual. Um, I was at the Shanghai Film Festival about three years ago, and I heard that Kira Knightley had read the script and was interested in talking. She was intrigued, they said. Mm -hmm. So I was very excited, but then I was also slightly terrified because the internet in China is a little unpredictable. Yeah, yeah. And at the hotel, I couldn't send any emails. They were all stuck in my outbox. And yeah. I couldn't get on any websites or anything. And I was like, how am I going to do this? So it was arranged that I would go to a friend of the festival's penthouse where a party was taking place. And I could use their Wi-Fi in a little side room. So I went to this crazy party. And like Jackie Chan was there. And Mike Tyson was there. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, this is really <laughs> mad. And then at midnight, I was like sequestered away into this room. And the, you know, we opened the laptop. And the signal just died. And I was like, oh. God, what we're going to do. And we were fiddling around for five minutes, and then my phone started vibrating. And Kira had taken the initiative on her own to FaceTime me. So then I'm looking at Kira in the palm of my hand, and she's there. And then I look up at the battery, and it's saying like 15%. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay. So I just started talking about Colette. And the thing about Kira is she has such a lightning speed of comprehension. She's so quick. And we were just firing back and forth about, you know, her ideas about Colette, my ideas about Colette, finding this kind of mutual meeting point. And it was going very well. And then I look up and it's 2% and the battery's flashing red. So I give it the last kind of push. And I say, no one in the world could do this as well as you. And she goes, you know, Let's do it. And the phone died. <laughs> <laughs>